Hello friends and family and good morning from Universal Studio City Walk. I thought it'd be fun to come out today, head over to Universal's Islands of Adventure and check out some new merchandise all around the theme park. I want to check out a little bit in every single section here at Universal's Islands of Adventure. It's really nice to come out though, it's a beautiful morning. I'm just excited to be here. But before we get started, if you would subscribe and click the bell notification so you're aware of future uploads and live streams we would greatly appreciate it. Seriously though, look at the view this morning here at uh, Universal's Islands of Adventure and City Walk. We have a bunch of the boats coming in, bringing the uh, park guests in from the resorts. And over there is the Hard Rock Cafe. It is so just picturesque, beautiful outside. Also in the description box of this video, I'll put a link to my recent video I did from Universal Studios Florida, showcasing all the awesome merchandise over there. That being said, today's video is for Islands of Adventure. Let's head inside and see what we can find. Before you even come to the park entrance though, you want to take a moment to get your picture taken at the Islands of Adventure light tower. Also at both theme parks here at Universal, they do have a new process where you used to scan your uh, annual pass or your park ticket and then put your finger there to get scanned, but now they do have photo validation. Okay, so as soon as you enter Universal's Islands of Adventure, you're greeted by the main store here at Islands of Adventure, the trading company. This is your catch-all store that has basically merchandise from all over both theme parks. I think we'll start here and then continue our way a little bit further in the theme park, but our adventure begins here at Islands of Adventure. Okay, so it does look like they do have some of the brand new Mardi Gras 2024 merchandise. This is the Spirit jersey. It says 2024 Universal Orlando. The graphics on the merchandise is always the best for Mardi Gras. That Spirit jersey, $75. Then right underneath there is the brand new hoodie. Again, with that same design, Mardi Gras 2024. This one's your pullover hoodie. It says Universal Mardi Gras. I do like the purple color. And then right up ahead are some brand new pins and different things that they have for Mardi Gras. You got the King Gator picking the banjo. That one's $11. Then underneath there, they have two different offerings. Look at this here with the uh, King Gator. You get a little gibbet for Mardi Gras. This keychain is $12. And then right over here is yet another one with the King Gator. I love these like little metallic finishes on there. Those are really cool. And then over here is a tie dye pattern t shirt. Lots of different offerings at the main store. $37 for that one. And then right over here is yet another t shirt. This one's a nice like soft yellow color. It says Universal Mardi Gras. Has a very very like retro, almost like a, a concert t-shirt feel for $30. That being said, now that we checked out some of the new Mardi Gras merchandise, let's see what else we can find here. You can actually see how large this store is. It is absolutely massive. They have some souvenir sippers right over here. They have SpongeBob square pants. Of course, SpongeBob is over at Universal Studios Florida, but these are all $20 each, and your first fill is free. Right underneath there, you have the big pink Lard Lad donut from Simpsons. This one is way cool. It says Lard Lad, and they have the little sipper on top. They have Bart Simpson, and then Bubble be from Transformers. And then right across the way, they have an entire section dedicated to Marvel. Look at these hats that they have. This one has Captain America's shield. It's a little rubberized patch. It says Universal Studios on the side. These are adult size for $26. It's embroidered Captain America. This one's probably my favorite of the two though. It's a nice like little 3D effect, but everything is embroidered. These are $27. And they have two different versions of Captain America t-shirts. This is the uh, women's version with the metallic finish and then over here is like your weathered look for your uh, men's but this is more of like a unisex shirt for $27 here's some really cool merchandise dedicated just to the Incredible Hulk this one's a Tervis tumbler he looks really cool though look at the huge design there these are $24 and 95 cents and then right across the way you do have a 3d effect coffee mug this one has the oversized handle you have Hulk and then the uh, design here on the other side does say Hulk that one's $19 
And some of my favorite items are always the plastic drinkware cups. I feel like they're some of the best deals you're going to get here at Universal Studios. And the attention to detail is really nice. These are only $10 a piece. Let's see what we could find over in this direction. This is some of your retro Universal Studios merchandise. They have four really cool cups. You have Confrontation, 1990 with King Kong. I remember this attraction. It was so good. But these are all $10 a piece for the drinkware. They have Confrontation. Over here is the Back to the Future ride. You can see Marty McFly right there. It has your Universal Studios insignia, 1991. Over here is the last remaining attraction part of the opening day of the four. You have E.T., one of my favorite classic rides here at Universal Studios. With Elliot, you have E.T. in the little vehicle. And then, of course, you have Jaws. But right underneath is a very nice um, pullover sweatshirt with that same insignia with the retro design. Universal Studios Florida, that's $55. And they do have the same design here in a windbreaker material. You could even purchase some of your Jurassic Park merchandise here as well. They have a deal here on their youth 30th anniversary t-shirts. They're normally $25 a piece, now $16.99 for them. Over here is like your retro style tin lunchbox. I remember having these back in the day. This is awesome. The design looks like it's spray painted like the green and the yellow. It has Jurassic Park and then like a uh, raptor scratch that side. These are $24. And here's a really cool coffee mug at the bottom. Again, these are huge huge designs that glows in the dark with the uh, the T-Rex and then you have your Jurassic Park insignia. These are $19. It also looks like they still have your Jurassic Park 30th anniversary spirit jerseys and they're on sale. I love this though. Like look at the T-Rex there at the bottom. This has a nice graphic. Originally $80, now $55.99 for them. And they do have a lounge fly here with blue. This one's a very nice simulated leather. Look at his little arms there. Like they actually move, which is way cool. This is a Funko Pop lounge fly. Let's see what we got with the price tag. $82 and check out the can cantina here that they do have for water again it says Jurassic World Universal Studios the sleeve is removable and it comes with a clip on the backside for $20 it's nice though because you could even purchase some of your Minions merchandise that they do sell over at Universal Studios side like these cool Minions coffee mugs these are $27 a piece lots of assorted drinkware especially in this main store look at all the Minions on this thing this is incredible a stainless steel cup like this is perfect for your coffee these are $16.95 they have the Minion sippers down there. Let's see what else we can find though. There's lots of different graphic t-shirts and different things going on. Like look at these crazy eyebrows. This guy here has one eye. $27 for him. And I do love the puzzled look of this t-shirt. This one's really cool. Probably my favorite of the two. That one's $27. They do also have a ginormous selection of merchandise from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Like you can purchase the actual Firebolt broom. This is a Noble Collection piece. That's $300 plus tax. Underneath there are some really awesome cinch backpacks. These are perfect for the parks. You have a huge compartment on the top, a big zipper compartment. This is your Gryffindor version. These are $28 a piece. Let's see what else we got doing. Underneath there, of course, we have Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and then Ravenclaw. And they even have you covered here at the main Universal Studio store with all of your Wizarding World of Harry Potter candies. They have your Birdie Bots Every Flavored Beans. These are $13. Right underneath are your Exploding Bonbons. I don't think they're going to have all the candy that they do sell in Honey Dukes, but a great little selection. These are very delicious. $10 a piece for them. Some of my favorite Wizarding World of Harry Potter candy are always the Fizzing Wisbees. Very, very delicious. And two different artificial sweeteners that they do have for your water. You have Luna Love Goods Love Potion. I love the packaging though on all of the candy. $12 for that one. And they do have the Liquid Luck Felix Felicis. And you could totally bypass the line at Ollivander's if you would like to. It's definitely a small store at the Wizarding World. They do have a good selection of your assorted wands. But they have them on display which is really cool. So you can actually touch the wands and figure out which ones it is you'd like to purchase. They have just about every single one on display though. These are the interactive wands. And it looks like they have some deals going on. Purchase a wand stand. Let's see here with any wand and get oh $15 off your engraved. That's really cool Okay, so you get your engraving for $15. That's a really good deal So as you can see there it says like your name you can get your name engraved in your wand now they're even some running some deals here on the plushies at the Wizarding World. Purchase any Charms plush and get 50% off Draco Malfoy or the Death Eater plushie. 
Here is the uh, Draco Malfoy right over there with his Slytherin scarf. And the uh, Death Eater one is really cool as well. They have so many different plushies though. Like they have, let's see what we got going on here. The Mandrakes, they have Dobby down there, the Cornish Pixies. Luna Lovegood looks really cool wearing her Spectre Specs. Hermione Granger has her Gryffindor scarf, but they definitely have something for everyone. You can even purchase some of your Noble Collection items for the Wizarding World. They have the Bellatrix Lestrange Death Eater mask. It comes with the plaque. It says Bellatrix Lestrange on it as well. $110. Right underneath in this really fancy wooden box is her actual dagger. If you remember in the movies that she threw at Dobby, that's $85. They have Helga Hufflepuff's Hufflepuff cup for $58. Tom Marvolo Riddle Diary. And it does come with the collector's stand, which is really neat. And the Basilisk Fang. Those are $85 a piece. They have Arena Ravenclaw's Diadem. That does come in the Noble Collection box as well. That's $165, but lots of different winter wear over in this section. Like these really nice embroidered scarves with Gryffindor Lion. Of course, it does say Gryffindor. You got lots of frillies at the bottom. These are $40 a piece, but they do have all four houses there. And also the matching beanies. Really nice quality though, the knitted material. These are $30 a piece. They have Gryffindor, Slither, in. Over here is your Ravenclaw and then Hufflepuff. I don't want to spend too much time at the uh, Port of Entry store here. The uh, trading company, they do have a great selection of merchandise from all around the theme parks though. But I do want to head into the theme parks though and check out some of the merch. That being said, there's a year-round Christmas store, the Port of Entry Christmas store. Let's head over there and see what they have. Okay, so we're over here at the Islands of Adventure trading company. Like I was saying, literally right across the way is the Port of Entry Christmas Christmas store. This is your year-round store where you can always purchase your Christmas ornaments and a great spot for some really cool photo ops. And holy cow, as soon as you come inside, there's this ginormous nutcracker that was used at one of the holiday tribute stores, I believe a year or two ago, but now they have it on display here. Let's actually come over though, because I think they have some Earl the Squirrel merchandise. It says select merchandise is all 30% off. And look at these socks that they have. It's literally like a stocking with Earl the Squirrel. You got two tassels. And then the socks at the bottom have your non-skid material. These are originally $24. They do have the flannel Earl the Squirrel hat. These are originally $30 a piece. Let's see what else we got doing here. The lanyards. It comes with the clippy. These are reversible as well. It says uh, Universal Studios and then you have Earl. Lots of different things they have doing here though. Anytime you can get some of this merchandise on sale, it's a great time to purchase it. Here's a stainless steel cup. I love the whole design though. These are originally $21. They do have the pin here as well with Earl the Squirrel. $10 for that. And a couple of sort of Christmas ornaments that they do still have. They have three different offerings. You could even still purchase your Grinch Miss popcorn buckets from this past year as well with the Grinch wearing a Santa hat. It comes with this really awesome lanyard that says Merry Grinch Miss. $26.99 and still your first fill of popcorn is free. And then over here is the matching sipper that they have for this year's Christmas celebration for Grinch Miss. These are $18 a piece. And check out the huge Grinch plushies you can purchase for $22. But everything is decorated so beautifully inside of here for the holiday season. Like look at the Grinch Christmas ornament. Let's actually come over here though. Here's a really awesome Grinch backpack. Okay, so this one's like a plush backpack wearing a Santa hat. This thing is so fuzzy though. $65 a piece for them. And then right underneath is a really awesome uh, winter hat you can purchase for $25. How fun is that though? Everything is embroidered. And here's some Wizarding World of Harry Potter Christmas items that they have, like these really fancy stockings. These are a knitted material for $35 a piece. They have Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and then Hufflepuff. And check out the huge selection of Wizarding World of Harry Potter Christmas ornaments. How look at these with the frillies. They have Gryffindor, Slytherin, Wise with uh, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff with Loyal. These are really fancy though. Like I love the attachments that they give you to actually hang these on the tree. This one is brand new. I don't believe I've seen this one before. It actually spins with the Gryffindor logo. They have Slytherin right next door. One of the coolest ones though is this one here with the Marauders map because it actually opens up. It has a little button on the backside where you can push it and see the little feetsies actually going. These are $22 a piece. Then right over here is the Monster Book of Monsters. Like how fun and accurate to the movie is this? 
this. It says Monster Book of Monsters on the top for $25. That's one of my favorite things about Disney and Universal Studios. They have year-round Christmas stores. They have a really awesome one there at Disney Springs and the parks. But they have the Port of Entry Christmas store here at Universal Studios and also one at Universal uh, Studios Florida. Let's take a moment though to appreciate the awesome view here at Islands of Adventure. One of the best photo ops that you're going to find and it's as soon as you come into the park section you have the Velocicoaster. Over there you can see the tip of Hogwarts and then you can also see Mythos, one of the best restaurants here at Universal Islands of Adventure. That being said, I want to continue on our way on our merch search. Let's head on over to Marvel Superhero Island and see what type of merchandise we can find over here. Marvel Superhero Island is home to three different world-class attractions. You have the amazing adventure of Spider-Man. I actually should say four. You have the Incredible Hulk roller coaster, Doctor Doom's Fearfall. Oh, there it comes right here, the Incredible Hulk roller coaster, Doctor Doom's Fearfall, and then you have and then you have Storm Force Accelitron, which is tucked away in the back corner. So if you didn't know that it was over there by the entrance to the Hulk, you would probably never see it. It does look like there's lots of work walls and constructions going on here in Superhero Island. Let's check out some of the merchandise offerings though. Okay, so this is like the main Marvel store. As soon as you come inside, there's a really cool photo op there with Iron Man. And they have a ton of Marvel branded merchandise, like this full zip jacket. You have Thor, Spider-Man, Iron Man, Captain America. It's like a comic book strip with embroidered uh, pinstriping on the sleeve. $65 for that. Over here are a bunch of different action figures you can purchase. These are the Titan Hero series. You have everyone from Black Panther to Iron Man and Captain America. These are, let's see here, $25 a piece. And check out some of the different toys that they have. They have Monster Hunters, uh, Strike, and then over here is the Laser Tag Blasters. Here's some really great cinch backpacks that are perfect for the parks. They have a couple different offerings. This one here has a bunch of the assorted villains from Venom. You have Loki on there, Dr. Octopus. These are $22 a piece. And I love how they say Universal Orlando Resort. The Heroes version is $22. They do have another cinch backpack with Spider-Man with all the web action, but these are really nice quality. And they do have a plushy version backpack of Spider-Man as well. The uh, zipper compartments on the top, I don't think you could fit too, too much uh, stuff inside of there, but that's really cool for $30. And they do have a good assortment of like Marvel lounge flight backpacks and different things here. Look at this one with your uh, badge there on the front, Marvel lounge fly. All of the characters are on both sides and the back section, $82 for that. Right next door is the Avengers matching lounge fly purse here. Look at that, it has a nice little enclosure. Let's see what we got with the old price, Aroni, $79. And then right underneath there, they have some of the Infinity Saga um, lounge fly bags. These are very, very shiny and extremely good quality. $85 a piece, but they do have two different bags here. Let's also check out some of the Marvel drinkware offerings that they have. Here's some 3D effect coffee mugs. Look at this one here with Iron Man popping out of the coffee mug. Then you have Iron Man on the opposite side. These are all $19 a piece, but they do have Spider-Man right underneath and the Hulk one that we just saw. But check out some of the other plastic drinkware offerings that they do have. Captain America and Spider-Man at this store. They're even running a deal here on their spirit jerseys. This is the back side. It says Marvel, amazing, and this really nice metallic writing. These are originally $57, now $34.99. It says Spider-Man on the front side. Some really great deals here at the theme parks. You have Legendary, it says Marvel. Again, this is your Captain America version with a huge shield on the front, but I do like the tie-dye pattern. That is really nice. Underneath there though, they have, let's see here, the Incredible Hulk one. These used to be full price literally not too long ago. It's really nice to see some deals here at Universal.
You can even purchase some of your Marvel comics here as well. They have Silver Surfer Rebirth. These are, let's see here, it looks like $3 a piece. They have Fantastic Four, The Avengers, The Thing, Moon Knight, all the way down to Strange. But you can also get some really cool collectibles here. Like, look at this one. You have President Loki. He actually has Vote for President badge on him. On the uh, base here, it says President Loki. And that right next door is like your regular version. Let's see here, $520. Now how awesome is the statues up here of Black uh, Deadpool and then Black Widow? And definitely lots of cool Spider-Man merchandise since we're so close to the attraction. This is a kid's shirt. It says Universal's Islands of Adventure. You have Captain America, Hulk, and then Spider-Man. $20 for that graphic t-shirt. And the right next door is an adult size graphic t-shirt. But these are really super duper soft. It says Spider-Man, $27. And they even have a good assortment of baseball caps. Look at this one here. Everything is embroidered. It says Universal Studios on the back side. This is Youth, $18 for that and here's a really cool like little kids one you do get like the matching spider-man sunglasses it has a little patch on the side that says marvel that's only twenty dollars for a hat and a pair of sunglasses i did want to mention in case you're visiting universal's islands of adventure there are work walls around the attraction here for the amazing adventure of spider-man it does say the entrance is over to the right hand side now making our way into Toon Lagoon. It is definitely too cold out this morning for some of the water rides and attractions over in this part of the park. But they do have some really cool merchandise that I want to show you. Okay, so as soon as you come inside, the first door is a really cool jacket with Betty Boop. She's embroidered there. This is like a football letterman jacket. You got some embroidered hearts. This one is a full button down. That one is $65. Then over here, they do have some Betty Boop plushies. This entire section is all Betty Boop though, $16.95. And how about this women's v-neck shirt that they have with the soft pink colors? It says Betty Boop, $37, but it even has a design here on the backside with number 30. You can even purchase like some pajama sets here with Betty Boop as well. Like how fun and fuzzy is this thing? These are adult size. And then right next door is the house coat. These are $80 a piece but you have Betty Boop embroidered and her name right there on the side. Of course one of my favorite water rides is over here in Toon Lagoon Popeye and Bluto's bilge wrap barges and how fun is this t-shirt of Popeye He's squeezing the can of spinach and he has his mouth wide open it says plant-based $27 a piece for them and here's some uh, little kids t-shirts it says I'm Popeye the sailor man your head actually goes on the t-shirt where Popeye's head would be those are $20 a piece and it looks like they do have some adult size graphic t-shirts here as well it says i am what i am 100 percent american universal studios that's adult size for 27 over here is the uh, tank top version with that same design but you can also purchase a beach towel and if you are spending time here in toon lagoon you're definitely going to want a beach towel for the water rides for 28 dollars this is what i mean though you can purchase stuff over here from jaws et so you can get stuff that would normally be sold over in universal Studios Florida section. Here's an awesome lounge fly bag. How cool is this? You have ET there, like the woven basket on the front pocket section. $82 for that. Right up ahead is the plushie, just like on the ride itself where he's inside of his basket. Really nice quality and attention to detail. These are $35. And the right underneath is your classic graphic t-shirt. It says ET, the extraterrestrial, an adult size for $27. And then they do still sell some of your Jaws merchandise in this store as well. This is your classic tin lunchbox with Jaws with like the movie cover. It says no swimming hazardous area, beach closed by order of Amity. These are $24 a piece. Underneath there they do have some iPhone um, case covers with the uh, Jaws insignia. These are both $34 for the 12 and 13 Pro Max. And then over here is a cool uh, magnet for your car. I love this actually. It says Amity Island Shark Tours. Let's see what we got doing with the price. Those are $14 a piece. Let's also check out some of the assorted pins that they have here on the spinny rack. They have an, a nice enamel one here with a uh, Captain America shield. $9 a piece. That is a great deal. Over here is literally Iron Man's helmet. $9 for that one. And how about the minion one? It looks like he's doing some hitchhiking. It says Orlando. That's really creative. $11. They have Thing 1 and Thing 2 for the Dr. Seuss section. Let's see what else we got doing here. We have Teacher of All Things. Oh, that's cool. With a cat in the hat and an apple 
apple for eight dollars even some minions happy lunar new year merchandise this is a three quarters length sleeve it says universal studios i love the whole design these are so soft thirty dollars a piece for them and then right up ahead they do have some keychains pins and magnets that i want to show you and again all minions eleven dollars for the pin over here is the uh, matching magnet and this thing is so heavy really nice twelve dollars for that and then the keychain is eleven dollars there's even a little minions plushie here for happy lunar new year twenty two dollars but look at the uh, like attention to detail of the dragon like mask that he's wearing with the little teeth that is really adorable and they do have a graphic ringer t-shirt here for the kiddos Okay, enough of the Toon Lagoon business. Let's continue on our way and see what other merchandise we can find. One of my personal favorite attractions here at Universal's Islands of Adventure is Kong Skull Island. It is such a family friendly ride. The queue is incredible, but I do want to come over here because you're going to find lots of little booths outside of the attractions that do sell the merchandise, and Kong is one of those attractions. Here's an adult-sized graphic t-shirt. It says Skull Island Reign of Kong Universal Studios. It looks like he's grabbing onto the ride vehicle. You have the huge T-Rex as well. Just like on the ride, $27 for that one. And here is another awesome graphic t-shirt. It is like top to bottom. It says King, then Skull Island Reign of Kong. I really like that one. And it looks like they have a deal over here on a graphic t-shirt. This one's only $18. It says Expressions of Kong and they all look the same from angry to happy, confused, frustrated, sleepy, and excited. Let's make a quick little pit stop over into the Jurassic Park section of the park. They do have a great photo op there with the uh, Ford truck and then the T-Rex. And then right over here is the attraction that is original here to Islands of Adventure. You have the Jurassic Park River Adventure. It is currently closed right now for refurbishment. Universal Studios usually does that in the winter months with some of their water attractions. Like you'll see the work walls right here. So definitely plan that accordingly if you are planning a trip here to Universal's Islands of Adventure. Let's actually stop over to Jurassic Outfitters though. This is the gift shop as soon as you get off the attraction for the River Adventure, but it's currently open right now even with the ride being down for refurbishment. This store is so crazy cool. Like they have some dinosaurs, like big statues, like they're hiding in the weeds. So a really cool photo op right there. Underneath that though, they do have some different drinkware with a camo pattern. It has your classic Jurassic Park insignia. This one's a Tervis Tumbler, $25. Then they do have a much smaller version. This one does look like it'd be really nice for the kiddos. It's the same design though for $20. And then right underneath there, they have a camo adult size t-shirt. It says Universal studios and jurassic park that's 35 dollars then right next door is the pullover hoodie that they have again with that same camo design let's see the price tag 55 dollars you could even purchase some of that really fun Mr. DNA merchandise here as well. Like I love the whole sleeve pattern there. It says Mr. DNA. It says Jurassic Geneticist. That's $37. And here's a classic Ringer t-shirt with that same design there with Mr. DNA. It says Jurassic World at the bottom. Let's see what we got. $30 for that. And they do have a Jurassic Park lounge fly that matches this entire collection. That is $82, but you can see like the T-Rex as a nice um, insect here and the amber on the zipper pull. And they do have the matching uh, tank top here. It's definitely not weather for that right now, but definitely very, very soon it will be. These are $37. Look at this little guy coming to say hello. <laughs> they have a remote control. Um, Jurassic Park Jeep, look at that, with a little dinosaur on the inside. Just going around the store. <laughs> that is so cool. Let's see what else we could find over in this section though. They do have a ginormous um, Funko Pop lounge fly bag. It's embroidered Jurassic Park. This is like the entrance way into the park. It has the Jurassic Park zipper pull, but check this out. You could open it up. You got the uh, vehicle there with the T-Rex and it closes with a little magnetic enclosure. Oh, this is cool. It says life uh, finds the way and then Jurassic Park on the backside that one is $82 and they have a bunch of really nice like unique graphic t-shirts like this one with like little t-rexes bigger ones this is uh, some of Universal's newer merchandise that graphic t-shirts $45 right next door is like a copper colored uh, medallion of the t-rex it says Jurassic Park Universal Studios $55 for the hoodie and they do also have a nice um, brown color t-shirt with that same 
same design for $27. Okay, now that we've checked out some of the awesome merchandise over here in the Jurassic Park section, I do want to head over to Hogsmeade Village at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and see what merchandise we can find over there next. If you are looking for one of the best photo ops of Hogwarts Castle, it's literally as soon as you leave the Jurassic Park section towards Hogsmeade on the bridge. This is absolutely incredible. You can see like Hogwarts Castle just popping above the tree line and it looks really neat at nighttime. They do put on a whole nighttime show here with fireworks and a show on the castle. Usually the Harry Potter section in both theme parks are some of the most busiest sections and Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, the attraction that's in Hogwarts Castle is only a 15 minute wait right now. That's not bad at all. But at the exit of the attraction they do have Filch's Emporium. That's one of your biggest Wizarding World of Harry Potter stores here in Hogsmeade. Let's head over there. <laughs> Okay, so as soon as you come inside, they have a good little selection of Marauder's Map merchandise. How about this coffee mug with that same 3D effect? I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. And they do have the Marauder's Map insignia on the opposite side. These are $21 a piece. It says Wizarding World of Harry Potter at the bottom. And then right underneath there is a really nice full zip jacket. Again, with the Marauder's Map, just like the coffee mug has. But these are really soft and very, very thin. $65 for that. And here's a Sun Act activated Marauder's Map t-shirt. I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. It has your little signage there for the sun activation. Let's see if we can find the price. They are $42. You could purchase some really unique merchandise here as well, like Hagrid's umbrella. It's a little toy umbrella that does light up on the tip. It shows you here on the back side, but these are $32 a piece. The packaging is really, really nice on that. Then over here, they have a couple different like plushies. Let's see what we got to. And it looks like they have a little double pack with Pidgewidgeon and then Hedwig for the universe of uh, Harry Potter. I should say Wizarding World of Harry Potter. $35 for the double pack of owls. And then right underneath, they have a good assortment of different pygmy puffs. This one you actually squeeze for the sound. These are $20 a piece, but if you are buying these, I suggest you go over to Diagon Alley at Weasley Wizard Wheezes because they do do a whole like adoption ceremony if you purchase a pygmy puff, but they do have the smaller pink one that you can squeeze and make sounds. Even the much larger pygmy puffs here at the bottom, like look at this here, the purple one. These are so super duper soft. And it looks like they also have a, a toy sword of Gryffindor with that really awesome packaging for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Let's see if we can find the price. This guy is $20. In the next room, they do have a bunch of merchandise that is literally just dedicated to Dobby. Here's a really awesome doll in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter packaging. That is $45. And then right over here, they do also have a Dobby coffee mug. Check out the lighting in here though. Like I love the different like wall sconces and different things that they have. Dobby's holding a sock. It says Dobby is free. And then free the house elves on the opposite side for $21. Of course, being here at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, they do have a great selection of butterbeer merchandise. This is the Ringer Tea. And if you haven't had a butterbeer, I strongly suggest that you do. The Ringer Teas are $27 a piece. And then right over here is the uh, pullover hoodie. It's really cool with your butterbeer design. And it looks like they are running a deal on the Death Eater masks here. These are normally $30 a piece, now only $14.99. It's a nice little plastic edition. Like, this would be cool if you're like a huge fan of Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Like, you can probably mount that to your wall. That's really neat. But this entire back section here has a ton of assorted plushies. Like this one here, they have Buckbeak. They have Fluffy the Three-Headed Dog. Very nice attention to detail. Like Fluffy looks incredible and he's a puppet. Fluffy is $30 and then right underneath there they do have this one here with the uh, Monster Book of Monsters and it actually opens up. How cool is this though? It's embroidered Monster Book of Monsters. You have a little faux leather tongue. Let's see if we can find the price of Rooney. Okay, and it makes noise. That is even extra cool for $30. 
Let's check out some of your Hogwarts merchandise. This is a graphic t-shirt that's unisex with all four Hogwarts houses on the house crest. And then right next door, they do have the women's v-neck version with the embroidered pinstriping. And again, the house crest is on the front. $40 for that t-shirt. And then right up on the way here is your Hogwarts alumni merchandise. This is the uh, full zip jacket with the house crest on the front. And then I do want to show you the back side of this. It has really nice attention to detail with Hogwarts alumni. And you do have like all four houses pinstriping on the sleeves. Right next door is another graphic t-shirt with Hogwarts alumni with the embroidered pinstriping. And you even get a little uh, patch here that's embroidered on the bottom as well. But that's $37. And then they do still have the matching coffee mug with that same 3D effect. Hogwarts alumni with the Hogwarts house colors. That same design is on both sides though. These are $21. Some really nice pullover sweatshirts also in the back section. They do have all four houses, your Gryffindor version, but everything is embroidered on here. $70 a piece. There's your Gryffindor. Right next door is your Slytherin with the house crest. Underneath there, you also have Hufflepuff and then Ravenclaw. These are really heavy though, a nice new addition to the Wizarding World. And you can even purchase your neckties here as well to go with your robes, just like in the movies as well. These are $39, but they do have all four houses like your Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, and then Slytherin. It's important to note though, embroidery, serv embroidery service is available here, so you can get some really cool items embroidered, like your uh, beanies, your different scarves, and different things here. Of course, no trip to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter over in Hogsmeade Village is complete without going over to Honeyduke's Sweet Shop. Let's go over there and check out some of the really cool Wizarding World of Harry Potter candy. Okay, so as soon as you come inside, you can purchase your sugar quills, and these are really neat. They're only $6 a piece, but on the opposite side of the lollipop, you can actually like dip that in a liquid, and you can use the other end of the lollipop to write, which is really neat. Then over here are some of your classic Honey Dukes lollipops. These are three ounces with that nice swirl pattern. It says Honey Dukes. $3.95 a piece for them. And you can't come to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter without buying a chocolate frog. They now have these in dark chocolate and milk chocolate form. The packaging is incredible though. And they do come with a wizard card. They do have a bunch of assorted items that you're not going to find all over the place. Like these come in the uh, Honey Dukes plastic containers with the lid. These are Dumbledore's favorite. They have the sherbet lemon drops. They have fizzy whizzies. The packaging is awesome though and they're really cool how they come with the plastic case for safekeeping. A nice little take home. And then over here is some boxed Honey Dukes flavored saltwater taffy. You get a bunch of different offerings. This is a really generous sized box. And just like all the other sections in the theme parks they do have a honeyduke sipper this is the pumpkin juice one the um just the whole packaging and look of this is incredible it's fifteen dollars but your first fill of pumpkin juice is complimentary they're also running a deal right now on their Honey Dukes mix and, mix and match plates, regularly $17 a piece. These are now four for $45, and they have like the gold rim. You have Birdie Bots Every Flavored Beans. Over here is literally like all of the Birdie Bots beans on that plate, but they do have your classic Honey Dukes logo plate and the chocolate frog. Here's a good selection of candy that we haven't seen earlier in the video. They have the peppermint toads. These are made with dark chocolate and peppermint. They don't have the price on here, but I do believe they're around $11. They have the fudge flies. Then right up ahead, I haven't tried these ones before. Glacial snow caps, peppermint flavored uh, snowflake melts. Those look really interesting. $8 a box for them. And they have some pink coconut ice. This is creamy coconut confection. They're also running a deal. You can purchase a Universal Merchandise shopping card and get a free wand of $55 value, $300 minimum purchase required. So some more deals here at the Wizarding World. I had such a great time today hanging out here at Universal Studios Islands of Adventure. There is world-class shopping all around the theme park. Hogsmeade Village is right behind us. You have Ollivanders, Honey Dukes, some really incredible Wizarding World of Harry Potter merchandise. Don't forget 
forget you have Kong in this park, you have Marvel Superhero Island, and also Jurassic Park. You can't go wrong for sure. But if you are interested in any of the merchandise in today's video, definitely check out our Patreon page. The link to that is in the description box. But if you like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, make today awesome.